Five seconds. Let's get loud. Let's hear it for these athletes. The Open starts now. Three, two, one, go. 14.1 is here. The 2014 CrossFit Games season has begun. Marcus Hendren and Garrett Fisher are going head to head in a classic, the first open workout we've ever received. 11.1, 10 minute AMRAP, 30 double unders and 15 power snatches, 75 pounds for the men, 55 for the ladies. And we are in round number one. The best score we saw in 2011 was set by Rich Froning Jr. It was 443 reps. He was just two snatches shy of 10 total rounds. As expected here in the beginning, both men are stoic, kind of keeping composure here. And they're on pace to beat Rich, which was basically around a minute back in 2011. That's a great place to keep your eyes. Both men are about to finish their last rep, 45 reps per round, finishing round number one just at 55 seconds. Now, a little bit of a surprise for me, Cherie. I thought these guys would come out blazing for sure, just based off the hype coming in 14.1. This crowd, they're not used to just being all by themselves. Neither one of these guys are rookies, even though Garrett showed up to the games for the first time last year. So you better know they know how to kind of compose themselves and get themselves through, and that's what they're doing here. Garrett Fisher has a five rep lead on Marcus Hendren, but now they're actually still neck and neck. We're about a minute 30 in. They're in round number two. We have 15 power snatches going from the floor to overhead. Now, Cherie, I just said power snatch, something we're used to seeing usually dropping under, but Marcus is using a little bit of different technique here. Both of these guys are using a muscle snatch, which I would expect. That just means that the bar goes straight up. They don't rebend the knee and get underneath. Um, it's going to be quicker. It's going to save their legs a little bit on that jumping. So if they can stick to that as long as possible, they're going to be fatigued less. Now we say it's quicker. Two minutes down, two rounds down. So these men are on pace right now to set the best score we've seen. 450 or 443 set by Rich Froning in 2011. Marcus Hendren and Garrett Fisher neck and neck this entire time. Now 10 minutes it's a workout range, it's not too long. These guys seem to be, I, I would say, pacing it out maybe a little too much. Yeah, you can see Garrett there looking over at Chuck, his judge, kind of seeing, am I done, am I done, um, to come over there. It's going to be interesting to see how those double unders play out in their head. Both men are five reps into their 15 power snatches. They're trying to compl complete round number three. We're about 15 seconds out of that three minute mark, seven minutes to go. Now it's a smooth control. They have yet to really separate from one another right now. We were talking earlier, Sheree, is that we're probably gonna see most of the fireworks happen around that five to seven minute mark. They are rep and rep. And if you look a little bit at Marcus, he's seeming a little fatigued in the snap. He's starting to get under it a little bit, so maybe round four is where we might see a breakaway. Both men have pretty good transitions. Being such a short event with these, the speed of these reps, right? You're going to get about 30 reps. We're probably looking between 15 to 20 seconds. So that's a lot of work and a little bit of time. So transitions getting off the bar to the rope is going to be very key. It's crucial. And if you look back at all open workouts, you see 20, 50, 100 places only by a rep or two. So it's huge, these transition times. Marcus Hendren and Garrett Fisher neck and neck coming up to the four minute mark. They're in, finished round number three. They're coming on to round number four. Both men yet still kind of pacing off each other. It's something Garrett Fisher's used to with his NorCal crew. You know, he's getting to work out with the likes of Pat Barber, Jason Kalipa, Miranda Oldroyd. So he's used to maybe trying to play catch up with these crew, but Marcus is taking it pretty steady right now, but we're starting to see some distance set down. It looks like Marcus will be the first guy to break. We're gonna have to keep our eye on this. This might come into play later towards the, the end of this event. I did not expect to see him break there at all. Both men four rounds down, starting round number five. We're four minutes and 30 seconds in. Garrett Fisher holding a slight lead now on Marcus Hendren. Now, it might only be five seconds, but again, we're talking about the repetitions or the cycle time of something like double unders. That's about a 10 to 15 rep distance he's going to put on him. And Garrett Fisher now moving to the bar first over Marcus
Marcus Hendren. Right here, this is going to be where Marcus needs to dig into his mental strength, which we know he has. He's been at multiple competitions and talked to us about how he's known what he has to do to win something. So we'll see if he can dig into that right here. Or will that get to him that Garrett kind of got a little tiny bit of an edge? Here at Fisher, we spoke. We're just past the halfway mark. Marcus Hendren breaks again, and Garrett Fisher is looking to continue his streak of unbroken reps. The judge on the left side of your screen, hand in the air. That's denoting they've got five reps or less to finish this implement. And he breaks again. I'm not sure why he's not moving to a power snatch to be able to keep up with it. If it's the grip, if it's the fatigue in his shoulders going on right now as opposed to his legs. Garrett Fisher now back to the rope. They are starting round number six. They have five rounds down. We're coming up on the six minute mark. There will be only four minutes left. We said we're going to see some shifts around that five minute mark. And it looks like Garrett Fisher is now taking the league and he is not looking back. Both gentlemen right now are on pace if they stay here to beat Rich's record in 2011. We'll see if they can hang tight with getting that whole round a minute. Garrett Fisher looking to finish round number six. He's on his 15 power snatches right now. Marcus Hendren is now back. He's about four to five rests behind him. Now, Marcus with that back where you think he's he has shown in the past, he has the ability to hang in there tough and grit these workouts out, but we've seen him break unnaturally to his, his background and what he's done in the past. Garrett Fisher still going unbroken, looking to finish round number six. You can see him looking off to the side, keeping his eye on the clock over to the left. He's Garrett looking at the clock, he's looking at his judge. He's very calculated in everything that he seems to be doing right now. Um, so we'll see if he can maintain this. Six rounds down, we have three minutes left to go. Now this is the time to push the pace. Everybody's tired, right? We've got that large cardio hit, our muscles burning but like we look double unders you can always do them when we get fatigued this weight's not heavy enough to really break these athletes up but on the left side of your screen Marcus Hendren is really struggling with these snatches it's definitely not the weight it's the stamina in the muscle if you remember doing this back in 2011 what you feel your shoulders were burning as you were pulling that bar off the ground 30 seconds left to go Garrett Fisher Still stuck on these double unders. He's having a lot of trouble with these snatches. Garrett is still on pace to get that full 10 rounds and a few reps ahead. And if he gets to the double unders, who knows? Because those go so fast, you only need a couple seconds to really make a lot of lead. Towards the end of this workout, you almost think it's about a race to get to the double unders. And then Garrett Fisher has now broke for the first time into his seventh round. He has about five reps left. Judge's hand will be in the air. Marcus Hendren, now five to six reps behind him. If Garrett Fisher starts to break down here, and he puts the bar down again, this is a chance for Marcus Hendren to make a move. And you can tell that he was speeding up, and he kind of took a little cue there. He's only four reps, five reps ahead right now. We'll see if Marcus can kind of dig deep. We have Go about ahead. 90 seconds left in this competition. On the top middle part of your screen, you can see the rep count. Garrett Fisher is now going to pull away. He only has about a 10-second lead, but with these reps, these double unders, he's going to get a big distance put on him. It's up to Marcus Hendren to get off this bar, back to the rope, and it's going to be a fight for these last 15 snatches. Garrett Fisher is done. He's at 345. He is now moving back to the bar. We are in our final 60 seconds. It's going to be all coming down. Can Marcus Hendren get back to the bar and hang with Garrett Fisher? You got to know what's going through his head right now. Fight. Fight for those last 50 seconds to kind of pull ahead. Garrett Fisher on your right. Marcus Hendren now to the bar on the left. This is a move that Garrett Fisher, Marcus Hendren needs to go. Head to head. He can capitalize on it if he can just keep moving and get underneath that bar. 30 seconds left. Garrett Fisher has to hang on to the bar because you know Marcus, Marcus Hendren puts it down. I can't believe it. He has to know what rep he's on. We have 20 seconds left. Garrett Fisher, four reps ahead. Marcus Hendren drops the bar again. 15 seconds left. Garrett Fisher is going back to the double unders. That's going to make 
a huge lead for him. Look at those are just reps running away. Running the rep count out. Five seconds left. And incredible. Garrett Fisher has taken 14.1 over Marcus Hendren with a score of 373. That was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying to watch. Now, if we go back to what Rich did in 2011, neither one of these gentlemen in this environment passed that. Rich still holds the record. Rich still holds the record by a score of 443 reps, where Garrett Fisher, or 448, I'm sorry, Garrett Fisher, 373, and Marcus Hendren, 358. I love seeing an athlete with a big old smile on their face when they're done putting themselves through some pain. That's some serious recovery that showed on that 22-year-old <laughs> right away, right back at it in the crowd. Now we saw in the beginning, they took it out at a pretty easy pace. Looking back on the scores from 2011, 373 isn't going to get him that high on the leaderboard. Now it's three years ago, so we might, we might see some interesting things come out of this event as we move forward through the weekend. We know neither of these gentlemen had done this in 2011. In 2011, we had two weeks to do this workout because of an error on the website. So people would redo this four, five, even six times. And when you do that, you start to learn how to game it. You look at the time, you can pace yourself, and you better believe both of these two gentlemen are going to figure that out before the end of Monday night when all scores have to be in. That's true. That's kind of the beauty of the open or the beauty of the curse per se is you have the <laughs> yeah. ability to redo these workouts if you need to. All right. We will be back. We're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be back with more action analysis from here in Atlanta, Georgia.